Hello everybody, welcome back again to another video. So we're here today with another stitch Saturday where we're learning a new stitch and today I've come across this beautiful stitch. Um, so this is one I've just made earlier and it's called the basket weave. So as you can see um, it's kind of like a woven pattern which I love. This would be perfect for any project that you'd like to do. Um, maybe a blanket or a scarf or um, maybe like a cup holder or something like that. Um, so we're going to learn how to do this so that you can um, create your own project with it. So today for Stitch Saturday I'm going to be using green. Um, so there's a lot of green around my setting so I'm going to be using this green which is actually a chunky yarn and then I'm going to use the corresponding hook size which is 6 millimeters, and then I'm just going to use a pair of scissors to cut off my yarn at the end. So for our first step we're going to be chaining and doing our slip knot. So if I just find the end... Here we are. So you can make a slip knot in whichever way you would like. Um, so make a loop and pull through. If you're a beginner and you don't know how to do a slip knot, then um, I do have a video on it. But for today, you can do it in whichever way you want. Then I'm just going to take my hook and insert it into that loop. So for our chains, you can chain any number of stitches you would like for your project, but it has to be in multiples of eight and at the end you want plus seven. So today I'm going to chain two multiples of eight and a plus seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So that's one multiple of eight. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's two multiples of eight. So, as you can see, this is how it's looking. And then plus seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So, here is my foundation chain. <laughs> So you can chain whatever number of chains you need for your pattern. So if you're doing a project, it might be bigger. Or if you're doing a scarf, it might be just a small one. But make sure you have multiples of 8 plus 7. So go ahead and pause the video. Chain your desired length of chains. And meet me back here when you have a multiple of 8 plus 7 chains. Okay, moving on to our first row of the basket weave stitch. We're going to begin by, um, by crocheting all treble crochets along our chain. So you need to miss the first two stitches from our hook. So skip this one and skip this chain next to it. And you're going to work into the third chain from your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into that chain. Yarn over and pull through, so you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. Once again, yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Again, I do have a video on this in my previous channel, so if you are a beginner, um, to crochet and you do not know how to treble crochet go ahead and check out that video and I break it down step by step really really slowly so you can get to grips with it so you continue to treble crochet all the way along the row until you reach the last chain so go ahead once again and pause the video and treble crochet all along your foundation chain. Okay, so now you should have treble crocheted all the way along your row. So you miss the first two chains from your hook and treble crocheted all along your row. And now we're on to row two. 
Now this is just a foundation row and now we begin our pattern. So to begin you want to chain two and turn your work. So now we're looking at the other side of our work. And this pattern consists of front post trebles and back post trebles. So don't worry if you've never done these before, I will go through it slowly for you um, and hopefully you'll be able to see um, the differences between them. So you want to skip this first treble crochet because our chain two is going to kind of be the stitch that we work into this one. So we're just going to ignore this um, treble crochet for now and we're going to look at this second treble crochet. Now to begin our basket weave we're going to do four front post trebles. Now front post trebles mean that we go behind the stitch and our treble is at the front. The front post treble kind of lifts um, the stitch forward a little bit and um, kind of separates it from the rest of the work. And then after we've done four we're actually going to do back post trebles which means that we go behind the stitch then in front and then behind so you can see that we've gone back post treble but for now we're just going to focus on the front post treble so yarn over just as normal and go into the gap between your first and second treble crochet so just down here then go behind your treble crochet and then yarn over here and pull through behind it you should have three loops on your hook now yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through the other two and you can see that the front post has kind of lifted it forward and separated it from the rest of the work. We're going to do three more of these now. So find your gap that you're going to insert your yarn and in, your hook into. Yarn over, insert and wrap round so you've got the front the treble crochet on your hook. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. So here we have two treble crochets and we're going to do two more. So again, going behind the stitch. Okay, so here we have our four front post trebles. Now to get our different different um, kind of woven look we're now going to have to do four back post trebles to get this ridge that we create so here's our four front post trebles and here is our four back post trebles so to do a back post treble you're going to go behind the work and in front of your treble crochet so yarn over just as a normal treble crochet is worked and go behind your work. So you, at the moment you're in front, you're going to move your hook to the back of your work, find the gap between the last treble and this treble here and bring the hook through so it comes forward. Then insert your hook in front of that treble crochet, yarn over and pull through to the back, yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two. I'll show you again because this one's a little bit more tricky, yarn over, so I have my gap between the last treble I've just worked and this treble here, so I'm going to take my hook and bring it forward through that gap and then I'm going to go over my treble into that next gap yarn over and pull through and pull through that gap if I can <laughs> yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two 
once more, yarn over, bring the hook forward through that gap, backwards through the other gap, yarn over, yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two. So there we have three back post trebles, we just need to do one final one. In front, behind, yarn over and treble crochet. So here you've done four front post trebles, four back post trebles and again we're going to do four front post trebles. So yarn over and front post treble. behind the stitch so it can be lifted up from the rest of the work so there's four and four back post trebles so continue this all the way along doing four front post trebles and four back post trebles so as you can see I have ended with my four front post trebles and I still have this chain two from our very first foundation chain. So to complete the first row or the second row but the first row of our pattern repeat we're going to just yarn over, insert and do a half treble crochet which is just pulls through all three of those loops. So here we have our row one and to begin our row two again we're just going to do a chain of two and turn our work. Now our second row is going to be exactly the same except we're going to start with our back post trebles. So to get a second ridge and to continue the work um, we're going to start with our back post trebles. So it kind of looks like we've done back post trebles in this row, but we actually did front post trebles, which pulled them back. So to continue with our back post trebles, you're going to come forward, come backwards, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So you're just going to do this for four. And this just continues the work and makes a second ridge for our basket weave. So here we have our four back page trebles that we've just worked. And now we're going to work four front page trebles into this next group. So yarn over, go in front behind the stitch sorry it's a little bit confusing um, because front post you think you go in front but they're called front post because they look once you've worked them they look like they're like coming forward they're in the front so there we go and then repeat this so we've got four back post trebles um, four front post and four back post. Obviously if you have made a blanket or a bigger working um, chain then yours is going to take a little bit longer to do. So pause the video, work along this row and I'll meet you back here at the end of this row. So again I've just come to the end of my row and I have a chain two left over from the beginning and we're just going to work a half treble crochet into that chain just like that. Now we've got our work of two rows. So this is my one that I've done earlier and this is what we've got so far, our two rows. But now as you can see in our next two rows we've kind of changed. We haven't carried on with our front post trebles here, we've chained to our back post trebles. So I'm going to show you how to do this now, it's really easy. So chain two and turn your work. Now you have on this side two rows of front post trebles. So now we're going to chain to two rows of back post trebles just to work that basket weave effect a little bit more. So yarn over 
and work a back post treble and do four of those four back post trebles just like that and now on this bit we've worked two back post trebles so we're going to work four um, front post trebles to make the basket weave so you work four front post treble crochets into these four back post trebles <laughs> this requires slight concentration just so that you know um, whether you're doing a front post or a back post And then again we have our four front post trebles which you can clearly see because they have pulled forward. So we're going to pull them backwards and do four back post trebles. Just like so. So continue working this all the way along the row making sure that when you have a front post treble you back post treble and when you have back post trebles you front post treble. Okay, so I've just finished my row three of the pattern repeat and I'm just going to chain two once again and turn my work. So now I'm going to leave you for a little bit to complete your project and complete the amount of work that you would like to do. I'm doing a sample piece so I'll complete my sample piece and show you the finished look at the end. So make sure you have um, two rows of each so two rows back post treble two rows front post treble and then once you've done two rows of that you need to switch so when you've done a back post treble um, they're easily recognizable by the ridges that they create you're going to do two rows of front post treble and when you have our front post treble then you're going to do two rows of back post treble so make sure you alternate between the two to get the basket weave effect and I'll meet you back here when I've created my sample piece to show you how it looks. So here is how it is looking after a few more rows and you can see um, the woven pattern start to take form. So because this is a sample piece I'm just going to chain one and cut my yarn so that I'm done and pull through. So here it should be, is how it should be looking. Um, I hope you've learned something from this video and I hope you have enjoyed it. I really like how this crochets up into this pattern. So remember, two rows back um, post treble and then two rows front post treble um, to make the woven pattern. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today and you found it helpful into learning how to create this um basket weave and um, don't forget to follow me on instagram at hooks.andneedles1 where i post more in exclusive things during the week as well as um going along with the videos at the weekend if you enjoyed this don't forget to hit the subscribe button for future videos and also that like button because it really does help me out and comment down below um what other videos you'd like to see from me in the future thank you for watching goodbye